When I got into Dixon, it, it made life, you know, 10 times easier. I was in, you know, a beautiful place. I was the location, it was the view, it was the actual house. It was almost like really motivating to look out that window and see the whole city. Odell Beckham Jr. is one of the highest paid wide receivers in NFL history. This member of the Cleveland Browns and master of the one-handed catch is one of the top players in the league and his value continues to climb with each passing season. But did you know that Odell also has one of the most insane closets ever? According to TMZ, the thing is like a department store. I'm guessing that's at Odell's dream home in the heart of New York City. Although that's the only real estate he outright owns, it hasn't stopped him from house sitting for one of his most infamous friends either. In 2018, Odell signed a his historic contract extension with the New York Giants for reported $95 million over five years, $65 million of which is fully guaranteed. There's no denying that Odell is one of the biggest names of sports, but depending on who you ask, he's also one of the most polarizing. Last year, not long after signing his new contract, the Giants shipped him off to Cleveland, but despite moving cities, Odell is still hanging on to his luxurious home situated in the heart of New York City, a 3,500 square foot property in Manhattan. With Odell's arrival in Cleveland, a new era began for the Browns, one of extremely high expectations, and while they weren't able to capitalize on the changes they made during the course of Odell's first season with the team, there's little reason to believe that Odell will let them down. After all, this is the same man who was the fastest to reach 5,000 career receiving yards in only 54 games. Bottom line, Odell Beckham Jr. is really, really, really good at his job, and that has him sitting pretty with a net worth of nearly $25 million. With money like that in the bank, it's probably going to surprise you to learn that Odell hasn't actually taken a major bite out of the real estate market just yet. Don't get me wrong, he owns a beautiful home in Manhattan, but every other place he's stayed in over the years has been purely rentals. When he's not house sitting for people who are even more famous than he is, that is. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour. We're going to be taking a look inside of two different homes that Odell Beckham Jr. has spent a lot of time in since kicking off his NFL career, here for you on Famous Entertainment. Odell's been holed up in LA since the shelter at home orders came down earlier this year where he's been rumored to be spending a lot of time with Lauren Wood from the popular MTV series Wild and Out and crashing at another Los Angeles home that I'm also going to give you an inside look at. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Lewis Hamilton and Lionel Messi and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. We're going to kick things off with a property that Odell Beckham house sat back in 2016. At the time when he was still playing for the Giants when his buddy Drake asked him to keep an eye on this California property, affectionately dubbed the Yolo Estate. At the time, Odell said that Drake was a man after his own heart. By getting the opportunity to spend time at his property and watch how Drake lives, he learned a great deal in terms of how hard you have to work to succeed in accomplishing your wildest dreams. Weird enough, I'm actually staying at his place right now while he's finishing the album. So I'm just out there working out, and it's just, it's, he needs to chill out with that house that he's got out there. It's just too much going on. <laughs> Despite the name of the location where this unbelievable mansion resides being that of Hidden Hills, Drake's lavish estate still manages to stand out. That probably has something to do with being 12,500 square feet of space that Drake bought up in 2012 for $7.7 .7 million. Its most striking feature has got to be the swimming pool that features statues of two women in bikinis along with a swimming grotto, waterfalls and bar, flat screen TVs and an 80 foot slide. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the features that Odell was getting to take advantage of while staying here. The home also features a five stall horse stable, a mechanical bull, tennis and basketball courts, a beach volleyball space, and a 25 seat movie theater. I have no doubt that wherever Odell is staying now is nice, but hell, in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, this is the type of home we all wish we were at. Inside the home has six beds, 10 baths, and Drake spent four years rebuilding this one of a kind masterpiece. The English Tudor style main house was reportedly built in 1974, with traditional features like beamed ceilings, a wood paneled library, and four fireplaces spread throughout the home. 
There's also a games room, massage room, and a wine cellar complete with a separate tasting room. With amenities like those, it's no surprise that Odell was flipping out while being able to stay here over the course of 2016. Before we leave Los Angeles to check out Odell's home on the opposite coast, I just wanted to do a quick check-in with the place where he's currently waiting out the pandemic. A recent video was posted online that gives an inside tour of what I assume is a leased home in LA, and I thought I'd give you guys a look. Yo, what's going on you guys? Boy, Doc, look, man. So I am chilling. Just got to Odell's house and bruh, she's so hyper. Look at her. From the brief glimpses that appear in the video, the home seems to have an open concept like design with the dining room, kitchen, and living room all bleeding together and featuring a tasteful white and black decor. It also has a stunning terrace with ample room for outside activities and socializing. And around the corner from that is a gigantic pool with tons of outdoor space including a dining area and barbecue pit. The grounds also feature a gigantic tennis court that Odell has co-opted to turn into a weight room and training area for his preferred sport, football. The only other feature the video reveals is a 12 seat theater that Odell no doubt spends a lot of time in to rewatch game tape and escape from the outside world by getting his Xbox on. Exactly where this home is located and for how long Odell has lived here is unclear, but considering his past history, this is most likely a lease that he's riding out the global quarantine in. Now let's move on to the one home that Odell definitely owns. Odell purchased his first home in the heart of Manhattan while still playing for the New York Giants. Despite not having played for that team for two years now, he still owns this three-story, 3,529 square foot dream house in the middle of Hudson County. Perhaps the most noticeable feature of this home are the nano walls on each level that face out towards the Manhattan skyline. I know, I know you're wondering, what the hell are nano walls? Well, they're a pretty remarkable creation, a window wall combination that can fully open and allow the room to become an indoor-outdoor space with a gentle push. Behind Odell's walls are some gorgeous private terraces that reveal beautiful views of the city. The top floor of the property is entirely made up of his master suite and it comes complete with a walk-in steam shower that's big enough to fit the entire Browns roster in it all together. Okay, maybe not that big, but it's pretty damn big. I mean, look at it. The kitchen is state-of-the-art and features industrial-grade stainless steel appliances and Caesar stone countertops, which are created out of a 93% quartz composition, aka a gorgeous looking mineral. Finally, Odell's got a man cave of his own on the bottom floor, or as he refers to it, his getaway zone. It features a cozy couch that Odell says is undefeated in its nap-inducing powers, and not far away from there is the hallway that Odell has transformed to, a shrine for all of his playing jerseys. And with that last look inside of Odell's home, we've come to the end of your video and the Odell Beckham Jr. house tour. What did you guys think? Are you shocked to find out that Odell doesn't know more than one property? If you had your pick, where would you rather ride out the pandemic? At Drake's YOLO estate or Odell's stylish home in Manhattan? There's no denying that Odell's place is pretty tempting, but how can anyone say no to that grotto and pool combo at Drake's LA place? I know I can. Don't forget to let me know what you guys would like to see next on this channel and follow me on Instagram to keep the conversation going. All right, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.